Hello everyone, Mark Lee with Runaway Lees. Just wanted to do a quick gear video of what we use on our trips right now. This is subject to change in the future as we continue to get better gear and upgrade our gear. This is what we have right now. We are not ultralight backpackers and we are not experienced backpackers. We've probably only been on about nine or ten trips total backpacking since we moved to the mountains. So I'll go through what we have currently. So first, this is my pack, the Hyperlite Mountain Gear Southwest 3400. It's a 55 liter. Then I've also got the Hyperlite Mountain Gear shoulder pocket on the front of it. And then that's just our two person first aid kit that we bring with us. In the side, carry the bear spray. And then in the hip pockets, I have this solar battery charger, a multi-tool, and then this headlamp and a bag that we just got from the Nomadic subscription. Then inside the bag, we have these two cheap ponchos for right now, probably upgrade to some frog tog or something later on. This bag has fire starter uh, stuff in it, uh, matches some dryer lint to get a fire started and then this is our uh, water treatment system so we have the original Sawyer squeeze a CNOC 2 liter squeeze bag and then for backup have the water treatment tablets and then we have all the accessories for the Sawyer squeeze in that bag and that goes on a blue dry bag as well this is uh, our cook system that's the jet bowl flash had it for about two years now and love it don't have any complaints about it everything packs up inside of it that's just a uh, sea to summit little coffee cup there uh, a sea to summit spork and then i can't even remember the name brand of that spoon fork combo that we have there uh, for food storage depending on where we're going to be at have this uh, bear vault bear vault bv500 bear canister or the Ursac Major XL uh, bear sack with the odor-proof uh, ziplocks to put everything in. And then for our sleep system, which I'll put on top of the bag once everything's packed away, is our Big Agnes Copper Spur HV UL3. And this is definitely our favorite tent we've ever had. It's the first one where you really don't notice any condensation in it and uh, we have nothing but good things to say about it so far. So then this is Carrie's bag. It is the Hyperlite Mountain Gear 2440 liter. It's the Southwest as well. She's got the little solar lantern on top that we carry with us. Uh, just a cheap Walmart headlamp. We have some extra AA batteries and a multi-tool for her. We're probably going to upgrade our headlamps to the uh, Nightcore headlamps. Uh, seems that they have good reviews. These are our Nemo sitting pads. Uh, we have one for each of us. And then that's just an extra dry bag for clothes and socks, whatever else we might need. Uh, these two here are the one on the left. The yellow one's kind of like our uh, sunscreen and first aid items and stuff like that and then the one on the right is uh, for uh, our restroom bag and then back there the big dry bag compressible dry bag is our Big Agnes Cabin Creek 15 degree double uh, sleeping bag and with that we just had these two cheap climate static V short uh, sleeping pads right now we are going to be upgrading to something else Hopefully the Big Agnes Insulated Q-Core Deluxe. They, uh, these climate ones just do not keep us warm enough. They're only three-quarter length, so your feet touch the ground at night. And you can just feel the uh, heat being taken out of your feet throughout the night. So definitely want to upgrade those soon. And then we have a climate pillow and a cocoon pillow. Uh, the sleeping bag we've really liked uh keeps us both warm my wife's very cold natured so she's stayed warm in it 
except for the kind of cheap sleeping pad. Once we upgrade that, we should be okay. Uh, just like all the features of it where you can kind of zip the middle together or you can leave it open. The sleeping bags go into, or the sleeping pads go into a net underneath the bag. So it holds those in place. And then there's also a place for your pillow to slide into so it's not sliding all over the place. Uh, that's pretty much all of our gear. And uh, the last trip we took, the Mount Sterling Fire Tower uh, trip, my bag uh, fully loaded down with pretty much three days of food plus uh, three liters of water was 31 pounds, 31.7 or something like that. And then Carrie's bag loaded down with uh, all of that that she has plus uh, two liters of water was uh, 27 pounds, I believe. I'd have to go back and check that. But uh, that's that's not really our base weight because that's with food and water, but that's how much it weighed before our last trip. I did weigh it. Uh, so we really enjoy the gear we have right now. We're just wanting to upgrade to better stuff when we can. So I said like the rain gear, sleeping pads, headlamps, uh, but everything else we've kind of got it dialed into where we like it. Uh, lastly, forgot to mention, we just have these cheap uh, Columbia trekking poles we've had for about three or four years now, probably. And uh, we definitely want to upgrade those to something else in the near future, but they're still working right now. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any comments or questions about anything, let us know. Uh, if you have any experience with the Big Agnes Q-Core Deluxe sleeping pads, uh, please let me know before we purchase them if you like them or not, and we'd really appreciate that. Thanks for following us. Hope you give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and follow us on Facebook and Instagram if you can. We'll see you next time.